<clears throat> Hello once again, Vinyl Community. This is Greg at Three Dimensions of Music. I'm uh, putting up a video to uh, celebrate a gentleman from uh, Nevada, Reno, I believe. His name's JT. At least that's his initials. I'm not sure about his full name, but uh, JT is what he goes by. His, uh, his channel is JT. Uh, Jesus Christ, what the hell was it? Record Room. JT's Record Room. Anyways, uh, he's celebrating 3,000 subs. He's well. He's over 3,000 subs, which is great news. Um, there's a couple of people in the vinyl community uh, that are almost at 1,000. Um, and JT called out Brian from Embryonic Robot. And uh, he's uh, just a few away from 1,000, so I wish him luck. Uh, myself, JT, I'm at 292. So I'm almost one-tenth of what you got. <laughs> I'm as famous as I want to be, though. Hold, hold your horses anyways. I just got an uh, email today, which kind of uh, is related to this. It, it said that my SEO score was too low. Uh, I'm not sure what an SEO score is. Some of you probably do because you watch the analytics. I really don't peek at that stuff. Uh, it's not that interesting to me. But anyways, uh, my SEO score was low. It was zero out of 100. And I looked it up on the internet, and it said it's good to have uh, 75 between 75 and 85 is pretty good. So I got a long way to go, whatever that SEO stuff is. Uh, I kind of got an idea what it is. It's about uh, attitude and uh, I want to, and uh, well, I have a lack of that, and a lack of that, and a lack of the other. But anyways, I'm participating in this contest to congratulate JT. I enjoy his channel. Uh, I wear this T-shirt, JT. Uh, if you can see it, let's stand up like everybody does. It says Vinyl Hound. And it was given to me a while back from a good friend, a uh, very close friend of mine and his wife, because uh, they know that I am a Vinyl Hound. But actually, I have the T-shirt, but you are the Vinyl Hound. Uh, between Bill's Garage and every other place you go to and you let us go along with you, it's a lot of fun. Uh, for this contest, uh, JT said to... Uh, show three albums that are food related, uh, as far as foods in the songs or food on the covers. And uh, I got a little bit of both. And also uh, an album to recommend and a channel to recommend. Uh, I'll get the channel out of the way right away so I don't forget. Um, if you notice behind me, I have a new addition to my collection of Menagerie. Um, I saw this at a, uh, a sale at the library, local library, somebody gave it up. And it was speaking to me, and as soon as I walked into the door, I made a beeline to it. And uh, if you noticed, uh, that guy is smoking a big stogie. And uh, most of you people know that watch me, watch Anthony at Gambler 823, 812. I think it's 823. Uh, anyways, everybody knows Anthony. And that, to me, spoke to me like Anthony does. So he, I'm recommending Anthony at Gambler 812. Yeah. Anyways, uh, that's that. That's out of the way. Three albums I chose. I'm sorry, I didn't take notes. First one, Bob James H. Uh, basically, his eighth album. I was a big job Bob James fan back in the day. It's on Tap and Z uh, label. And uh, the reason I like Bob James is he always had some great musicians with him. He's a fantastic keyboardist. Uh, smooth jazz, a lot of people disdain this type of jazz, but I've, I really cut my teeth on it. I like it very much, a lot of the smooth jazz that I have. And I have about 14 albums of Bob James, big fan of his. As you can see, it's a nice, tasty hot dog. Uh, everybody loves hot dogs, right? It might be a potato bun, I'm not sure. I'm not a fan of mustard, though, but give me that dog any day. Uh, here's the uh, gatefold. Very nice album. Uh, he has Grover Washington on this album with him. Uh, John Faddis. Who else? There's a great uh, horn section, Randy Brecker. Uh, you name it. There must be about 15 or 16 musicians on here. And some of the notables, I believe, were uh, Bob James, of course, uh, who was playing bass here. Uh, where you at, babe? But is it, 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 Gary King, Bob James, Grover Washington, Jr., 
uh, air toes on percussion. I'm familiar with air toe. Uh, great percussion on all of Bob James' records. Anyways, I won't spend too much time. Uh, the eighth selection from his catalog, and he has over 60 records, I believe, from what I saw on the internet, so it must be true. That is Bob James. Uh, next album. Let's mix it up here. Uh, I don't, I have a lot of Santana, but this is his first album, and I don't have it on vinyl. At least I haven't found one that's suitable for playing. Uh, so I got this CD uh, at the flea market. It's the 30th anniversary of his first album, and it's expanded edition, 24-bit digitally remastered. Sounds fantastic. Um, but there's an extra song on here. Uh, there's no food on there unless you're kind of not lying, eating, eating a giraffe or something. But... Uh, the last song on here is a, uh, a live version of Fried Neck Bones. Uh, if you've ever heard that song from Santana, you won't find it on too many albums. I have it on two CDs. Um, it's supposed to, it's related to this album, but it's not on it. But it is on the CD, which is cool. Uh, fried Neck Bones, uh, he, they sing, uh, I think the main verse is Fried Neck Bones and Some Home Fries. But it's a great Latin infused jam where Carlos Santana just is wicked playing on it. This is a seven-minute version. Uh, fantastic CD. I actually have an extra one. I found one for a buck, uh, but it's, it's, uh, that's sitting in my pile. But uh, I love this uh, CD. It's a great signing. Santana, uh, 30th anniversary, so fried neck bones, JT. And lastly, for the third selection, everybody knows the Rolling Stones. I picked uh, Let It Bleed because of that Beautiful cake on there. I guess it was a no-name bakery they chose to make that cake, and it made her famous. Uh, now, I don't believe that the, the uh, bicycle tire and the pizza and the clock face and the uh, tape can for the record, I guess, uh, was all put together on a platter, and then there's a record down there. You can see they're playing that record, and it's uh, they got all the guys in the band up on top. It's on London. London label. This is a repress. It's not an original, obviously. Uh, but anyways, there's a song on here that, even though it's got food on the front, there's a song on the back. Uh, this one here. You can't always get what you want. Now, there's a lot of great songs on here. Uh, Midnight Rambler's a favorite of mine. Uh, Let It Bleed, Monkey Man, uh, Gimme Shelter. A lot of great songs on this album. You can see the back, they, they made a mess of that cake. Somehow they got pizza and they broke the record and all that. You know, stones do party. But anyways, uh, you can't get what you want. I used to, uh, when I drove around in the car with my wife and kids in the back seat, that song would be playing on the radio all the time. And uh, when my kids were just whining about whatever, that song came on and I said, you hear that song, kids? You can't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, you get what you need. And I think they remember that all through their growing up. They hate the song, but I think they know what I meant when I said live by it. Okay, one last thing. Uh, JT says, recommend a record. Now I picked up, there's so many different records you can recommend, but I don't see this band getting much love on the... Uh, Let's see if I can take this out without dropping it. It's a double album. Uh, there's some of the label there. There's some custom labels on their records. These, these guys have made a lot of records. Um, this band's called Widespread Panic, and this is a pretty, pretty good album. It's uh, Till the Medicine Takes is the name of the album. As you can see, the birdie, that's like a cover. So that's pretty cool. It's not hard to find. I think it's still for sale. If, but it, the Widespread Panic is a band that I uh, really appreciated after I got a couple of their albums. Uh, these guys remind me, uh, they've got a great uh, percussion section, drummer, singer, uh, guitar player, it, just everything. It kind of reminds me of uh, not so much the Allman Brothers, but that kind of band where you have all these great Great people. Uh, this is the, like almost like psychedelic, and I would say their music is a little country psych, a little, uh, not so much country, but a psychedelic or a jam band. Uh, like maybe Little Little Feet. They got a great percussion section with Little Feet, but this is a particular one. Uh, they, I have quite a few widespread printing, including some box sets, but uh, this is called uh, 
until the medicine takes. And that particular song is a song on the album. I think it's the uh, the main song, I guess. Uh, it's a great song, Till the Medicine Takes. You could t try that out. Anyways, uh, that kind of wraps it up. I think I got Anthony taken care of with uh, my facsimile of such. I'll have to name him. Maybe you guys can uh, give me some suggestions of which, what I should name him. Um, so like I said, I'm at 292. So if anybody wants to recommend me, that's great. I'd appreciate it. Uh, I know I don't put much out. I'll try to make it better because I got a couple of things lined up for some for some uh, threads. Um, obviously, I had a little problem with uh, uh, carpal tunnel and uh, uh, some type of tendonitis, so I got a, a pain sandwich here. So that kind of messed me up. But anyways, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Like and subscribe. And I want to say bye to my beautiful granddaughters, Madison. Evelyn, London, and Charlotte. Love you all. Bye-bye.